Gordon Graham here with today's tip from Lexapol. And today's tip is from all my friends in the fire service, and it's a big one, folks. Today, I want to talk about lithium ion battery fires. Rarely does a week go by without headlines about fires caused by lithium ion batteries. In New York City, the problem of these battery fires led the city council to enact local ordinances related to the storage, service, sales, and charging of these devices. Devices powered by lithium ion batteries have been around for many, many years and are common in the home, including your home. You might have some laying around in the form of laptop computers, tablets, smartphones. They may be in your garage also, such as a rechargeable lawnmower or power tools. There may even be an e-bike or a scooter out there. And don't forget about electric vehicles and their charging stations. The Fire Safety Research Institute and the FDNY have been studying lithium-ion battery fires and the best way to extinguish them. First, the bad news. You can forget about using dry chemical fire extinguishers. They do not provide sufficient cooling to curb the thermal runaway. CO2 fire extinguishers will not be effective. Water is still the best extinguishing agent for lithium ion battery fires, although an enormous amount of water is needed. The goal is to cool the battery pack and eventually stop the thermal runaway. For smaller lithium ion devices, tossing them in a bucket of water or the bathtub is the simplest way to mitigate the problem. One big warning. Do not pick up the device with your hands. Use a shovel or other tool. Folks, lithium ion batteries are here to stay because they provide an effective solution for energy storage. It's up to you as firefighters to keep up with advances in battery technology and train, 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 train on the best methods to extinguish these fires. And that is today's tip from Lexapol. Gordon Graham, signing off.